Hi guys, this is the Alley Show. Excuse the crazy hair and pajamas. And if you hear sniffles, it's just my allergies acting up. But today I'm coming at you guys with a product review. It's a review of this. Excuse the fogginess. It is the... It's a little more than a half a gallon. It is the (laughs) BPA-free sports sports water bottle from dollar general with the push button lid now i love this product i've been using it overnight just to try it out so that i can tell you guys my honest to goodness opinion um so let's get right into it it has a large amount of water in it here's what it looks like from the bottom It has a nice, wide, easy-to-hold handle, as you guys can hopefully see there. It's the handle. And then... Sorry for the temporary blackout, but... Alright, I'm going to grab you guys again. And hold you guys and angle you guys down so you can see... As I push the button. Ready? One, two, three... It pops up like that and exposes your straw. Now, can you guys see that? There's actually a straw assembly down in there. And in this video, I'm also going to show you guys how to take apart the straw assembly and, and for cleaning. So first step, you want to screw off the lid. Although, I'm not going to, I'm going to take it apart, but I'm going to put it back together because I still have water in. So, I have it on my floor, just so I can do it easier. I'm screwing off my lid here. See, there's the lid. It's about, it's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and leave that open because when you put it back together, it's good to have it open. Now... Let me go ahead and knock off the straw assembly because it has some water Um, still trapped down in it. There's three pieces. There's the mouthpiece. This bit here, as you guys can see, that just pops right off. See that? That's your mouthpiece. I'm going to sit that right here by my lid. Next piece. Ooh. That one was still dripping some water a little bit. Is your valve. That just slides off of your straw here. See? It's your valve. That's what secures the mouthpiece onto your straw. And this is the main straw. So the way you put it together is you take your valve. Or no, wait. First, I'm going to lay this down right here. You take your valve and your mouthpiece. And... You see this little wide end of the mouthpiece right here? You want to take the end of the the valve with the gash on it. Can you see that? And you want to slide it into here and push it in. As far as you can get it, just shove it in there. There's no specific way to lock it. Just shove it in there. I find the shove and twist method works well for me. To get it in there. And then... What you do is you take your straw, I'm trying to do this all on camera, and you put it up in there. Put it up inside your valve. Maybe not quite as far as I did, but see? And there's your straw assembly, all put together. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your, your straw assembly and you want to thread it through your lid and you want to put your straw back down in your cup and screw your lid back on nice and tight there's that good rigidity now I'm going to drink from it on camera for you guys But before I drink from it, I want to show you guys a a fun part of it. 
This actually has little sayings on the sides of it to motivate you to drink more water. Like, look it, read that. Look at that. Read that, you guys. It actually has, it, for example, it says, 1 p.m., remember your goals. 6 p.m., drink, 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 to name a few. And then it says 8 p.m. Down at the bottom it says 8 p.m. Yay. Because you're done. It's enough to last you a whole day's water in this bottle. So that's why I got it. And because of the push button lid. Alright, now. Alright, it's squeaking a little bit so I didn't secure it in there the best. But that's okay. It's drinkable. Although it squeaks very minimal, you have to drink from this kind of thing slow. And then see, here's what it looks like with the push button lid all down and stuff. And then watch this. Oh, I'm sorry if it hit you guys, but there's the, the straw assembly. There's the lid all popped back. And there's the cup all reassembled. If you our kid and you're going to school and you want a perfect water bottle it's got a wide mouth on it so wide you guys that my hand can fit down in there for easy cleaning so if you're a school kid and you want a water bottle that is gonna have enough water in it to last you all day like you can pop it in the fridge the night before or like if you're going on vacation a road trip Excuse me. Um. Like I said, if you're going on a road trip or something, and I had the feeling I had to sneeze, but it went away. I got tissue just in case. But yeah, if you're going on a road trip, where you need water to last you all day or you're a school kid and you want to have water to last you all day or if you're just like me and you're a person who likes to have a lot of water with you this is the perfect bottle for you now the plastic is kind of thin and flimsy <clears throat> so I wouldn't recommend dropping this a whole bunch because if you do, it's going to crack it. Um, as I said, I got it at Dollar General. They also have a good selection of glass bottles there. If you're more the glass and metal, save the turtles type. Like if you're a Bisco girl. They do have bottles and coffee mugs and cups there that are Bisco girl approved. So, um, you, you can explore that option. I bought a pink glass water bottle for my mom. At the same time that I bought my cup because she's always running into issues about not being able to take her own drink container with us when we go places. So now she can. She can put her pop or her juice or whatever she's drinking right there in that pink water bottle and take it with us. Now, if I'm taking water, yes. And that's another thing. You do not want to take this whole jug right here and fill it up with juice from your fridge you you don't want to do that that is too much so if you're planning to do that please use a smaller cup because that will that can literally hold almost a whole jug of juice you guys no joke that can hold so much liquid like i filled that up last night and there's still that much water in there can you guys see that and I feel I've been drinking on that since last night. <clears throat> and just to, to give you guys a, a clue, I poured a half a gallon milk jug full of water into this last night. And it held it. And it wasn't even all the way full after that. So that's how big that cup is. So I would rate it a 4.5 out of 5. The only thing that makes me downgrade <clears throat> a half of a star is that plastic is so thin, though. 
the plastic of the um the what's the bottle itself is very thin. The straw assembly and the lid plastic is very sturdy, but the bottle plastic it feels like if I drop it it's gonna crack. But I may find other uses for that straw assembly. That's a nice straw assembly. So if that if I ever do break this bottle, I am gonna keep the straw assembly for it. Or from it because I can use it for something else like another tall water bottle I have or something so that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching please click like share comment and subscribe and bye for now love you